victory on Derby Day today against Tranmere. You must be delighted with not just the result but the performance as well. I'm very pleased. I thought it was a strong performance from his first half. I thought we were excellent. We passed the ball really well, got some good positions. Didn't get the goal. Well, we didn't feel sorry for ourselves. We kept going. Obviously, the home team is going to have a come back into it to a certain degree. Uh, but still, we had enough good chances to have won the game by more. Um, but 1-0 wins um, are important because they show a resilience. And I thought we dug deep today when we had to and, and we pushed ourselves that extra yard to make sure we got the result. How important is it in those scenarios where we could have had plenty of goals before the break, didn't get it, but we remained level-headed and focused and ready when the chance came and we took in the second half? Yeah, exactly that, because you know, the, I felt a goal was coming, but you know, the, we always know that the opposition were going to up the game to a certain degree, especially kicking to that cup. So I played here, managed here many times before, uh, but I thought some of our control with our football today was really good. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, like every win, it's an important one. Aaron Hayden built on his performance in midweek today. He's firstly starting a long, long time and getting a goal. No better feeling from the than that, is Yeah, no, he's such a threat, as we know, and uh, it's been tough for him. But he's almost in this little injury he had back in the pre-season. We've always been, almost been there to give him his own mini pre-season and uh, he feels in good shape and I think he showed that today. He cramped up, uh, which was understandable because obviously he hasn't played football for a long time. Uh, but yeah, obviously very pleased with his performance today. Oli Palmer and Sam Dolby is a partnership that we haven't seen all too often, but both of them worked tirelessly at the top of the pitch to hold the ball up and bring others into play. Yeah, I thought they did well. And you look at it and when they've played together and, and the bits of games, we've, we've created opportunities and um, I was pleased with them today. I thought they were a real handful. Um, they mixed it up nicely. One of them ran in behind and there was always that option down the sides of their centre-backs. Uh, but the hold at play was good and it gave us a great platform and I thought Oli in particular um, really put a shift in that second period and, uh, and, and Dobbs, uh, Dobbs was led by Oli a bit there. At the opposite end of the pitch, the first clean sheet on the road off the season must be a good feeling as well. Yeah, well, everyone knows we had that spell early on where we were conceding goals and we've had to rectify that and um, I feel we've done that. We look um, a lot stronger in terms of the structure and the shape of the team and um, you know, that'll do the defenders a lot of good today. Transfer deadline day, a whirlwind in many different ways, but one signing on the deadline day, George Evans made his debut today. Good feeling for him to get in front of the fans. Yeah, definitely. George is a class player. He's, he's played at most of his career at championship level. Um, he's a really good footballer. Um, gives us quality in that midfield. And, uh, you know, we felt we couldn't turn down the opportunity to bring him to the football club. On transfer deadline day as a whole, what was your reaction and reflection from the day? Uh, mixed because um, obviously we brought Arthur in, which you know, we need another goalkeeper, and that's you know, simply because we don't know where Rob is with his injury, and, and we need to make sure we've got enough cup in January. But obviously the Luca Armstrong situation um, is um, frustrating because uh, a lot of work has gone into to, you know, identify Luke and, and get him to the, to the club. Uh, but for whatever reason, that didn't get over the line, and uh, yeah, we're disappointed, but I think in football, you have disappointments and you can't feel sorry for yourself because no one else does. You've got to pick yourself up as a group and the lads have responded brilliantly today. And um, you know, it's, uh, to win a local derby with the support we had today is an incredible feeling. Thanks, Phil, and many congratulations. Yeah.